Hello! I am back for another hair update and uh, we are in the 8th month. 8th eighth, eighth month! What the hell? I think we are in the 8th month, right? No? I don't even know. I don't even know. What month are we? YouTube.com. I was right. I was right. <laughs> okay, let's do it all over again. Hi, I am back for my 8th month update. It's been 8 months <laughs> since I started growing out my hair and this is how it looks like. So as you can see, it is very, 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 very long. It is just too long <laughs> for my liking now. It is almost to my shoulders. I mean, this area is already at my shoulders and the rest is just catching up. My bangs, oh my god, my bangs are <sighs> almost covering my mouth. I mean if I stretch it, stretch it out it's probably covering, yeah, it's almost by my jaw. So overall, <laughs> overall, <laughs> it is just very long. I still haven't gotten the time to cut my hair. It's been bothering me. Like if you like cutting your hair, you know when you feel like that anxiety, you just want to like chop it off. And that's how I feel right now. I just feel it like it's too long. It's kind of just like bothering me. I know a lot of you may like this length or even longer, but I am a short hair girl. I like my hair short. I think it's fun. It fits my personality a lot better. So I just, I am dying to get my hair cut. I'm just like, oh, I just, I really, I'm finding the urge to just like not do it myself. So yeah, <laughs> that's where I am at right now. And the reason why I haven't gotten my hair cut is because I've been working so damn much. I've been busting my ass <laughs> this whole month. So I've been taking shifts like the night before. I'm like, they call me. I'm like, oh, you want to take a shift? I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Or like even the day of, I'm like, okay, I'll cover your shift. So I've been working a lot and um, I haven't gotten the time to make an appointment or even like make, like actually take the time to go to the salon and get my hair cut. So hopefully I need to get that done because I cannot be rocking this uneven hair for my birthday. My birthday's coming very very soon in less than a month a little less than a month so oof, i'm turning 25. <laughs> so hopefully i'll get my hair cut before my birthday it should be just a treat to myself i'm getting my hair cut and having some me time which is one of the reasons why i haven't even gotten around to film the me time tag because i haven't even gotten any me time lately <laughs> it's just been work sleep work sleep i haven't I haven't been doing much. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I need to get my hair cut. And um, as far as maybe hair care goes, I still use the same products. I try to avoid silicones. I still haven't touched anything that has to do any hair hair straightener or hair curler or anything with heat. So I've been heatless for, I would say... Five or six months I haven't touched a hair straightener so it's been a long time <laughs> and actually I've been enjoying it. I don't feel the need to be straightening my hair or just altering it with heat and my hair just feels so so soft. Like this whole journey my hair has been so healthy. It's the healthiest it's been since I don't even know probably since I was maybe in elementary school like it's been that long because when I was in fifth and sixth grade I just did not know how to deal with my hair my hair was just kind of like a poof ball thing I just did not know how to take care of my hair so now I do know and it's healthy I mean it's wavy slash curly but I know how to control that so it's been it's been a really fun journey especially getting it to like to the point that it's healthy and soft and shiny look at that shine right here so um i've been enjoying that a lot and i do have a product that i want to talk about i blogged about it um this past week but i still want to show you and yes i am wearing pajama bottoms like always <laughs> and this this dry shampoo by Salon graphics it's the play big volumizing dry shampoo and this is completely clear so if you have dark hair, like dark brown, almost black hair, and you always struggle to find a dry shampoo that does not leave your hair white or gray, this one is really, really great. So I'm going to do a demo right here on YouTube. So all I do is just spritz it on like that, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm not going to put more because I already did so in the morning, but um, 
yeah it's completely clear I don't see any like white spots and stuff so that's really really cool and this is very affordable at Ulta the big bottle it's like $9.99 and you can always use your coupons which is really nice so very affordable really cool product they also have it in blonde and brunette but I mean I just I would just go for the clear one because it's clear and it's not leaving like any type of colored residue on your hair and the other hair product that I started incorporating into my hair routine is this one by Paul Mitchell and this is the Paul Mitchell smoothing super skinny serum and it is a very light serum so it's not going to weigh your hair down and it smells divine it smells so like fruity and just like let's let's put some on let's put some on it smells really fruity and just like ah oh, it smells so magical and I'm just going to I know I just put dry shampoo on my hair but I love this thing and it leaves your hair super 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 shiny so I really like that and I I am just obsessed with the scent I, like <laughs> each time that I work it on my hair I like have to smell my hands it smells so nice so those two products are the two newest additions to my hair routine and this also I believe it does not have silicone no silicone really good stuff so I highly recommend this one and if you don't follow me on Instagram which you should because I post I think I think it posts cool stuff I don't know post pictures of my manicures and food and sometimes my dogs and sometimes even get a post with my face on it so uh, links down below if you want to follow me but uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I became a Paul Mitchell insider, so that means I'm gonna be producing more videos about hair, maybe hairstyling, not maybe, I'm gonna do some hairstyling videos and all that stuff, thanks to Paul Mitchell, so I am super excited about that and I'm so thankful for that opportunity. Actually, that whole opportunity came because of Lucky Fab that beauty conference. I met one of the Paul Mitchell representatives there and she loved my hair. I had a pixie back then and she's been like keeping up with my hair <laughs> hair journey so she asked me if I wanted to become a Paul Mitchell insider and I was like yes I I do. I mean that's so cool. So I got this huge box with hair products and like a, a water bottle and also a t-shirt so I'm super excited to be part of that whole like program the Paul Mitchell Insider and I'm so excited to bring you even more uh, videos about hair but I do have some bad news and that is maybe it's bad maybe I don't know but the bad news is that I am going to end this whole hair update series next month. So December will be the last month that I'm doing a hair update, like a monthly hair update. So yeah, it's coming to an end because I reached my goal, my hair length goal. So it's getting a little bit repetitive for me to do these videos. Like each month I'm just like, hey guys, my hair has grown, look at this, it's so long and blah blah blah. So I am gonna end it in um, in December. So December will be the last month, will be which will be the ninth month update. And then maybe I'll do another one when in the month, one year anniversary. So what would that be, like in April, March or April? I'll do another video, so. Yes, this monthly hair update series is coming to an end next month, so I hope you guys aren't too upset by it. I mean, you're still going to see my hair in videos, and I'm still going to be doing hair videos in some shape or form. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys so much. I mean, it's not the end. Why am I acting like it's the end? It's not the end yet, so... Um, but still, thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's it for this hair update video because honestly, not much has happened other than the usual. My hair has been growing and I need to get a haircut very, very soon. Um, let me know in the comments below how you're doing with your hair growth or if you have any other hair questions or comments or whatever, leave them in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. I'm so thankful for everyone who has subscribed lately. It's been quite a big jump this past few weeks, which is surprising because I haven't been posting as many videos. So thank you all to all of you who have subscribed lately. I love you guys. <laughs> I am just so happy today. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. And I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. All right. Bye!